YouTube, it's Chris, welcome back to the channel. Quick video today, I totally forgot to include Rufus in my last video. I spent a lot of time and effort trying to show you guys all the different methods on how to install Windows um, and, you know, make a bootable partition, whether it be through um, a partition on your hard drive, your actual hard drive, or SSD or M2 built into the PC, and then also external USB and external drive as well. I totally left out Rufus, so I apologize about that. Quick video here. I'm gonna show you guys how you can use Rufus for a USB and an actual external hard drive. Getting an external hard drive to work is requires an extra step. A lot of you guys might not know. So I'm just gonna show you guys that. So just go ahead and download Rufus if you wanted to make a, a USB bootable media. Pretty straightforward. I'd recommend downloading the portable version. You don't actually need to install it. So just go ahead and get the portable version, okay? And go ahead and get your ISO, wherever that may be from, it doesn't matter. Now I've got the Windows installation files here for 10 and I have Rufus right here. So go ahead and open Rufus. And obviously you'll need to plug in your um, USB or external storage or external drive. So this one is my USB here and this one is my external storage. So I've got both of them here to show you guys both methods. So in saying that you just go ahead and open Rufus and you don't need to worry about the updates for Rufus. Okay, once you've done that, so you'd want to select your USB drive. Make sure you haven't got anything on there that you want backed up because it's going to wipe it completely and make it a bootable media. So you click select USB um, and then you'd select the actual disk or ISO image. So press select on that one. I've got it on the desktop, so I would select it from the desktop. Okay, you shouldn't really need to touch much else here. You should all be good to go. All of you guys want to be on GPT. You won't need to win use Windows go to so MBR would be for really really old systems and you don't want to install it in legacy trust me on that one so it's just the default setting should be fine and if you wanted to you could rename this Windows bootable or Windows media or anything you want it doesn't really matter so I'm just going to call this Windows 10 then you'll go ahead and press start that's pretty it and straightforward if you've got a USB 2.0 um, or you know a slow chipset in your motherboard this could take quite some time um, if you've got a USB 3.0 in a 3.0 or up slot it'd probably take anywhere between five to eight minutes if it's USB 2 or like slightly slow chipset motherboard like I said it, this could take like 20 minutes I've seen it max take half an hour on really really slow USB sticks so if it ever looks like it gets stuck it's not so don't worry about it so in saying that how do we get it to work for external storage um, you know, drive because I have an external storage drive that's, uh, you know, we might not have a USB stick lying around, but we want to re reinstall Windows without uh, the other methods that I've shown you in the other video. Uh, how do we get that to work? So it's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to reopen Rufus for you guys. Once I've reopened that, to get it to be selected, you need to press Alt plus F and then you'll see hard disk detection enabled. Once you've done that, you should actually be able to see our other device here and you can see external storage so we can actually select that and follow through the same prompts. So we're gonna make a disk or ISO image, pretty straightforward, press select, select our Windows uh, ISO, okay? And I'll just press okay there. And then that's ready to go. And I can rename this Windows 10. We don't need to change any of the other stuff. Then to go ahead and press start and then okay. And boom, it doesn't take too long um, and we should be good to go. So this should be fairly quick because this is an external SSD, but just to show you guys what it looks like copying the files across, um, it looks pretty straightforward. There's, there's some times where it can look like it actually gets stuck, but, but it's not, so don't worry. You just have to walk away from the PC and wait and come back and it, and it should be done. Okay, so once you see that it says ready down here, that's when you know it's actually finished and done. So you can press close and if we go ahead and we open our Windows 10 drive here, all the files are here ready to go and you'll be able to boot to it uh, within BIOS. Go ahead and reinstall Windows. So guys, quick video. Thank you very much. Subscribe, like, share around. I'll see you guys in the next one.